and suddenly rises from the sea. The mystery behind the Bermuda Triangle has deepened as an island has suddenly risen from the sea, experts warn people to need to stay away because it's dangerous. A crescent-shaped island has risen off the tip of Cape Point in North Carolina, in water surrounded by the so-called Devil, aka Bermuda, Triangle. The Bermuda Triangle is a massive 500,000 km wide area in the North Atlantic Ocean. It's also dubbed the Devil's Triangle, and is defined by points in Bermuda, Florida, and Puerto Rico. The Triangle does not exist according to the U.S. Navy, and the name is not recognized by the U.S. Board on Geographic Names. Interestingly, contrary to popular belief, the Bermuda Triangle isn't a modern myth. Christopher Columbus was one of the first people to witness the mysteries of the Bermuda Triangle. According to reports, when Columbus sailed into the area known today as the Devil's Triangle, he recorded having compass malfunctions and even witnessed a fireball crash into the ocean. He and his crew witnessed seeing strange light and mysterious weather while passing through the Bermuda Triangle safely. In modern times, astronauts, Russian cosmonauts, and pilots from around the world have spoken about the Bermuda Triangle saying to have seen flashes of light when flying over the area, moments in which, according to many, electronic flight instruments appear to malfunction. In modern times, astronauts, Russian cosmonauts, and pilots from around the world have spoken about the Bermuda Triangle saying to have seen flashes of light when flying over the area, moments in which, according to many, Electronic flight instruments appear to malfunction. It's a hot, Danny Couch, a local historian, tour guide and lifelong resident of nearby Hatteras Island told National Geographic. Every 10 to 15 years we'll get something that's pretty dramatic. But this one is the largest one I've seen in my lifetime. It is believed that on an average, around 4 aircraft and 20 yachts go missing every year on the Bermuda Triangle. Returning to the Enigmatic Island According to the Virginian pilot, the enigmatic body of water has been dubbed Shelly Island by locals due to the vast amount of shells which litter the shore. The new island measures around one mile and is around 400 feet wide. Superintendent of the Cape Hatteras National Seashore, Dave Hallack has warned people to avoid the area. He said that people should stay away from the island and should not try and walk or swim across since there are strong currents which flow between the point and the new island. Furthermore, Bill Smith president of the North Carolina Beach Buggy Association has said there could be even more hazards reports the sun. He said, sharks up to 5 feet long and stingrays as large as the hood of a truck have been spotted prowling beneath the surface. We're worried about shark bites but we're even more worried about drownings.